8.5 Cartesian equations of a plane. Example 6. Two planes pi1 and pi2 intersect in the line with vector equation xyz equals to 354 plus s231. Point A lies on plane pi1 and point B lies on plane pi2. Determine equations of pi1 and pi2. Well, you should see it like this, that the line is common to both the planes, right? So you have a line and a point not lying on the line. So you can always find equation of a plane. So both these planes, pi1 and pi2, contain the line, right? So we have one direction and the other we can find with the help of the point and a point on the line. Similarly for both the planes, right? So once we do that, then we can find the equation of the plane, right? So you could write vector equation or you can write scalar equation of the plane, right? So, so what we will do is we will write vector equation to one plane and the scalar to the other. That is the Cartesian equation to the other, right? So let's do it. So for the first plane, uh, we know one of the direction cosines is one of the direction vector is 2, 3, 4. The other one could be a and the, these two points will give us the vector, right? And we can also assume this lies on the plane pi1. So we can say pi1 is actually equal to the point on the plane, which is 0, 0, 0, right? Plus s times this vector, which is 2, 3, 1, correct? This is on the line. Plus t times the vector between these two points, correct? Because if we join this point with that line, we get another direction vector, correct? So we can say 3 minus 0 is 3, and 5 minus 0 is 5, and 4 minus 0 is 4. So that is our vector equation of plane pi1, correct? So that's easy. Similarly, we could find vector equation of plane pi2 also, and the problem is done. Now instead, what we will do is, we will find scalar equation for pi 2 so that you know we have just a variety of doing things right now for the scalar equation of pi 2 we need to find the normal right so we say well the normal will be that we have already this vector and the other vector which we can find between b and the point right so that will give us a normal vector so the normal vector should be so we have cross product between this point, we are using b now, right? So 3 minus 1, let's write 3 minus 1, 5 minus 1, and 4 minus 1. Cross product of this with the direction 2, 3, and 1. Do you see that? That will give us the normal vector, right? So if we do this normal vector, then we can get this as ijk and this is like 3 minus 1 is 2, 5 minus 1 is 4 and 4 minus 1 is 3, correct? And here we get 2, 3 and 1, correct? And now from here we can say i times so unit vectors, these are unit vectors in along x-axis, y-axis, and z-axis. So i times, we get 4 minus 6, 3 times 3 is 9, minus j, and 2 times 1 is 2, 3 times 2 is 6, plus k, which is 2 times 3 is 6, and 4 times 2 is 8. So from here, we can write minus 5i, and this is plus 4j and this is minus 2k, correct? So that is the vector which we get for this point, right? Minus 5, 4 and minus 2. Well, we can take minus common. So the vector we actually get is minus 5, 4 and minus 2, right? We can write this also as 5 minus 4, 2, right? Normally it's better to write this positive, correct? So we got a normal vector to our standard uh, Cartesian equation, right? And we can use this point, right? So let's write down. As you can see, 
writing Cartesian equation in this situation takes a lot of time, right? So, normally the equation will be ax plus by plus cz plus d equals to 0, right? Where a, b and c are 5, minus 4 and 2, right? So, let's use a different ink and do it. And x, y, z are the points 1, 1, 1. So, it's x, y and z are 1, 1, 1. And a, b, c are minus 5. Let's take this one. 5 minus 4, 2. So, we can find the value of d, right? So, we'll write 5 minus 4 plus 2 plus d equals to 0. 5 minus 4 is 1. 1 plus 2 is 3. So, 3 plus d equals to 0 or d equals to minus 3, right? Therefore, our equation is d is minus 3 now for us. So, it could be for any point, right? Not only 1, 1, 1. So, x, y, z could be any point. But the normal is 5 minus 4, 2. Therefore, the equation, let me write the equation pi 2, will be 5x minus 4y plus 2z minus 3 equals to 0, right? So, that is the equation of our second plane, right? So, I deliberately chose two different methods to show you how you could write equation of a plane in this situation, okay? Remember, when we are talking about intersection is a line, that means line is common to both the planes, correct? Okay, I hope you like it. Let's move on to the next example. Thank you.